Hey guys, good to talk to you. I'm just gonna jump in and show you what I'm gonna be using for this week. So the first um, item I'm gonna be using for this week is the um, L'Oreal Infallible uh, Blush in Amber Rush. And let's see, I'm gonna try to do <laughs> some swatches. This is um, my swatch or Amber Rush, really pretty color. So that is on, that's all I'm gonna be using for the week along with my Pan That Palette blushes. Um, I've already gone through, I've rotated through all my drugstore and higher high end um, palettes. So now I'm going to single eyeshadows, which is good because then I can play with other stuff. Uh, well, with my Pan That Palette stuff. Um, for, let's see, for base, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier in um, Moonlight. And I've done a ton of swatches, but that's what it looks like. Um, for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Manhattan Gel Eyeliner. Um, I got this eyeliner from um, um, Catherine Pye here on YouTube. Um, I will leave her um, channel below and um, it's in the color brown. So um, I'm using it today and I really like it. So thank you Catherine for this um, gel eyeliner. I believe it or not, I've never have really used gel eyeliners. So this is my real first one. I had one from Maybelline, um, but it dried out um, and it was in the color egg, eggplant and um, purple colors don't really look good on my um, upper lash line. They, I don't know, they make me look tired and sick. So, um, so I always wore it on the bottom. So, um, but I'm really, really liking this one. So thank you, Catherine. Um, okay. And uh, other highlighter I'm going to be using is my Marc Jacobs in Sunset. You guys know this one in my lower, uh, my lower lash line. Um, concealer, I'm going to be using my uh, Better Skin. This is from Maybelline and it's in the color ivory and like I think I said before, it's really light for me. So I may end up, with, when I use my beauty blender though, it doesn't look that bad, but if I use something else, like a brush or something, or my fingers, it's just really light on my skin tone. So we'll see how that works. Um, mascara is the same one, my roller lash. Um, let's see, for powder, I'm going to be using this Lorac Pore Affection. Uh, um, in the color tan. So that's what that looks like. For highlighter, I have to be careful with this because this is like breaking apart, but this is my um, Lorac Spotlight and I really do like this highlighter, but I'm gonna try to see if I can use this a little bit more because it is breaking. Um, for bronzer, I'm gonna be using this um, e.l.f. Bronzer in St. Lucia, I believe it's called. I'm gonna be using this one and I am using it today. So. Um, and then for blushes, I'm going to be using my um, Warm Soul blush. It's beautiful. So that's what it looks like. And then for um, my other blush, I'm gonna be using this uh, Benefit Rockator, and I love this one too. It's beautiful. Let's, where is it? Right there. So I'm gonna be using that one. And then um, for lips, I'm just gonna be using, and I'm wearing it right now. Um, this one is a really good um, butter glass because it's very pigmented right. in Sorbet. And that is what it looks like. And then that's 
what it looks like swatched and this is what it looks like on so that's it guys for this weekly makeup basket um, I hope you guys had a good week um, as you know we went to New York um, it was a lot of fun um, it was definitely different taking kids never taken by um, you know never taken my little kids before to a trip like this and um, but it was fun and interesting we definitely didn't do everything that we wanted to do um, but we expected that and my one of my sons ended up getting sick and <laughs> throwing up the first night so we thought we were gonna end up leaving the first night which was like oh no we just got here but um, thank God it was um, the next day he was fine. Um, I think it was just like all the crap that we were eating um, Just made him sick or just like the stress too might have been I don't know what it was, but um, we ended up sticking it out and uh, we ended up going to the um, I forgot I forget what it's called the national not the national the American Museum I think of history I forget what it's called, but I think it's the um uh it was it was in the movie um oh gosh what is that movie called um the night at the museum so um i think that movie was taking place there so we went there it was really neat to see all these dinosaur bones and um so we really really enjoyed it we got to see the Statue of Liberty, um, you know, take the ferry down to Staten Island. So we got a chance to see the Statue of Liberty, which I had never seen before. Went past the Brooklyn Bridge, which I had never seen before too. So it was really cool. Um, but uh, we were supposed to come back, uh, no, yeah, Friday, Friday morning. And we ended up leaving um, Thursday night because I thought, we, my husband and I both thought, okay, this is, this I think this is good um, our hotel was really small so um, it would have been fine for my husband and I but having the kids there was just it was very difficult sometimes because there was no space to eat like it was just hard but we we had fun regardless um, and then yesterday I did um, a 5k <laughs> um, for um, Autism, um, I think I've mentioned in my videos, my video, one video before is that my um, son is on, is on the autism spectrum. So, um, so we got a chance to, well not we got a chance to, but I got a chance to um, do a 5K, which was really cool. Um, had never done that before and, well I've ran a, a 5K before, but not for autism. So, um, I was very pleased. So, yeah, so I am tired from that, um, and I got a sticker, so um, the logo of autism, which half of it has rubbed off already, but um, but anyway, that was my week. I hope you guys had a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye.